Detectives are holding a female suspect in connection with the gruesome murder of Nairobi Hospital's acting finance director, Eric Maigo. Cynthia Lusega Andalo was arrested and arraigned under a miscellaneous application Monday afternoon where police were granted the nod to hold her for five days as investigations continue. Detectives believe she might have knowledge or have worked with the main suspect as they were together on the night Maigo was murdered. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, detectives also established that Maigo's killer used two kitchen knives in the bedroom attack. The woman in custody, Cynthia Lusego Andalo, is among people who are last seen with Nairobi Hospital Acting Finance Director Eric Maigo last Thursday before his body was found in his Woodley house. According to phone records and CCTV footage analysis, Maigo was Thursday evening seen at a popular entertainment club just recently opened along Gong Road. It is here that he met three women, among them Cynthia Andalo. Police visited the club as part of efforts to identify all those who met him. It was then that they identified Andalo. The officers are yet to know and get others who detectives believe include the main suspect. Analysis of Maigo's mobile phone show he sent money to a number of people on Thursday prior to his death. Among the transactions, Andalo was in receipt of 650 Kenya shillings from Maigo. According to the police, Maigo is then seen walking out in the company of a woman who is believed to be the main suspect. Phone records show they further went to another entertainment joint along Kilimani Road before going home around quarter past 10 p.m. Two kitchen knives recovered next to Maigo's body bore similar sets of fingerprints, proving that Maigo's killer used two knives. Detectives are however yet to establish whether she stabbed him with both knives simultaneously or one after another. With nothing stolen from Maigo's house and 25 stab wounds on his chest, neck and face, detectives are inclined towards a crime of passion or a killer with so much rage. Samples were collected from his body for further analysis and toxicology test to establish if he was poisoned before the murder as he bore no defense injuries. Andalo, who was arraigned on a miscellaneous application, will be detained for five days as investigation continues. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.